Hey there, good looking. Join me for this or what is going to be a wonderful stretch session focusing on the muscles of the lower body. We're going to place emphasis on the hamstrings, hips, and the adductors. Tools required, I recommend that you have a yoga block close by as well as a yoga strap or something similar. All right, let's go get started. Hello there, I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com as well as over50fitness.co and before I get you all stretched out and relaxed, if you're watching this on YouTube, hey, click that subscribe button and like button before we get started. And if you're enjoying this ads free on the Over 50 Fitness app, head to our private community after this and let me know how you felt. All right, we're going to begin standing and then work our way to the mat. As you may have noticed, I don't have shoes on. I recommend the same for yourself. Coming to the top of your mat, step back with the left leg, heel to ground, leg is straight, heel and toe are lined up. Now once you've got this position, and you're going to feel quite a stretch in your calf if you're tight like me, press the back of the knee to behind you, take the arms out front, and then open and add a twist. Good. So we've got a little bit of T-spine here as well. So it, the focus is definitely lower body, but this is a nice way to warm up and open up the hip as well. Last three. Front knee is strong. Two. And one. Excellent. Let's drop that knee down to your ground. Double up your mat if it's uncomfortable. Take yourself so that this front foot is forward slightly, and then squeeze and tuck the tailbone under, getting a stretch into this hip flexor. Hands up, and then reach across with that back arm, and then reach across with the other. Good. So just adding some movement to the stretches. Now on this left arm, reach it up and hold. Squeeze that left glute, release that back foot if it was gripping the ground, and just breathe into that hip. This arm that's above, let's circle it behind the body nice and slow. Good. Bring your hands down in front, framing the foot and drop the hips a little lower. And this is where if you have tight hips, maybe you want to build your ground up by placing a yoga block on under each hand. Sit the bum back now, lift the toe up, straighten the leg, press the hips away now, stretch it into the hamstrings. And again, we can build our ground up. I really love yoga blocks. A pair of them is fairly inexpensive, doesn't take up much space in your workout area, and it can really help you out on all the stretches. All right, we've got four of these to flow through. Here we go. Come forward. Good. Just look straight ahead. Drop that left hip to mat and flow back. Get into the hamstrings. Two more. Breathe. Press back. Last one. And press back. Come forward. Bend that right knee for me. And now let's rotate the heel so that it's lined up behind you. And then walk this leg out. And it's pointed straight to the front of your mat. Getting into the adductors now, we're going to slide the knee so that it's going to track with the second toe and feel that stretch in the inner thigh on this right leg. Now you may need your foot further away if you're quite flexible or you may need it closer and you're good with that. Just flowing through it for a few times. One more. Now let's straighten this leg that is bent have the toe pointed towards me. Bring your hands out in front. Sit yourself back. 
Feel the stretch in the inner thigh. Now, if you want to make it more intense, you bring the leg forward and away from you a bit more, okay? So what we're trying to do is really lengthen into the long head of the adductors here. Rocking it forward and back. Let's do one more and then we'll sit back and hold and breathe. Shoulders away from ears. And release. Come back to the top of the mat. Feet hip width apart. Step back with that right leg now. Heel to the ground. Foot in a straight line. Arms extended. Take that right arm. Reach it behind you. Bend that front knee. Remember to keep it strong. And then press that back knee away. Feeling a nice stretch in the calf. Getting some rotation through the hip and the T-spine as we move this arm slowly and line it up with behind the body. Last one. Release. A couple of breaths here. Again, keep this back leg straight. Upper body's upright. And now drop the knee to the ground. Scoot this leg forward a bit so that when we come forward, you can feel the stretch in that right hip flexor and this front knee and ankle are aligned. Good, bring the arms up. Let's start with the right arm. Reach it up and across and bring it back. Either one, up and across. So add some sort of side to side movement as best you can. Go back to the right arm only. Reach it up and across and hold. Now we want to intensify this into that right hip flexor. You can tighten that right glute. When you contract an opposing muscle of one you're trying to release, you get a bit more of a release. So in this case, our glute to release our hip flexor. Now let's circle that arm behind, nice and slow with control. Beautiful, plant the hands, frame that front foot. Maybe slide that back knee further behind, looking forward. Just dropping that right hip to our mat. And now sit back, toe up, leg straight, tailbone pushing behind you. And again, maybe you're building your ground up. Here we go. Three more. Flow forward. And back. Let's do one more, come forward, chest is open, sit back, tailbone presses back, lengthening into that hamstring. Go back to hip flexor, and I'm just gonna rotate my body, but you're going to take this right leg and keep it there <laughs> and rotate. Now, we want this back heel and knee lined up. All right, the further the foot is away, the more intense the stretch. And then you glide that knee so that it's going over the toe. Good. Last three, two, and one, now straighten this leg, toe to me. Remember my cue, previous leg. You can bring the leg forward if you want more of a stretch. Bring the arms ahead, sit back on the heel, and then come forward, shoulders over wrists. Taking this slow and controlled, sitting as far back on your heel as that right knee will allow you. All right, this time when you sit back, let's hold it there for a stretch. Take a peek. We still want those left toes pointed forwards. And 
and center. Taking it onto the bum, feet together, sitting nice and tall. Grab onto the to tops of the feet, but don't pull the feet off the mat. We don't actually want to stretch the ligaments on the side of your um, ankle. We actually want to keep those strong. So sit up nice and tall and just do your best of pushing the knees to the ground. Sitting up tall, stretching the adductors further here, but keeping the outside edge of your foot on your ground. And release, taking yourself into a bridge position. If you have a yoga tie or a block, have them close by. Now I'll show you without the yoga block, the move, and then if you have a yoga block, it's even more yummy. Right knee to chest, straighten the left leg and hold. If you have a yoga block, lift the hips up and place that yoga block right on the sacrum, so the very bottom of the spine, below the waistband. Pull the right knee in and now straighten that left leg. Oh, isn't this lovely? So this is just helping us stretch that left hip flexor. And you just get a much better stretch. So again, if you don't have some yoga blocks, I really recommend grabbing a pair. Back of the neck is long. If you'd like, close your eyes. And just feel the ground below you. Two more breaths. And right foot to ground, left knee to chest, and then straighten that right leg. Couple more breaths. Bend the knees, feet on the ground. If you have the yoga block, lift up into bridge to remove it. Left leg, hands behind, and extend the leg up, flexing the foot, and then bring it down, heel to bum. So doing a dynamic hamstring stretch here before we'll hold static. And let's hold it up here. Now, if you have a yoga strap or a bathrobe tie, an old necktie works as well. You can place it on top of the foot. Press the back of that left knee away from you. Now, if the leg starts to shake, this is really important. If it starts to shake, I want you to let it go. All right, what's happening is the hamstring actually thinks that you're overstretching it and it's contracting and trying to resist that. You know you're not going to overstretch it, but it doesn't know that. So you need to let it go because it's impossible to release a muscle that's contracted. So just let it go until the shaking stops and then hold. Be aware that that back of your neck is still long. Maybe the eyes are closed. Just enjoying the release of this stretch. As you hold this stretch, perhaps the hamstring will allow you to draw it a little closer towards you. Again, though, being aware if there's any shaking that happens. Two more breaths. And 
and release. Yoga tie off to the side, right leg, bend it, flex the foot, and then extend it. Going through that dynamic stretch here. And on this one, hold. Maybe grabbing your tie again. Finding where you get the stretch without any shaking. And where you're able to really relax the rest of your body. Press that back of that right knee away from you. And then lift the heel up to the ceiling so we're creating some space into that hip joint as well. These stretches are perfect to do after a run, actually any type of cardio, as well as after leg day if you're doing strength training. Or just because. <laughs> Those are my favorite time of day to stretch. Just because time. And release. Take the legs straight up. Keep them fairly straight. Hands on the inside of the knee. Open the knees up. Good. Just float the legs up there. Now while you're here, I want you to make sure that you keep that sacrum on the ground. Shoulder blades on the ground. Back ahead on the ground. Bring the hands to the inside of the knees, pull them together, and straighten the legs. Bring the legs so they're mat width apart. Arms are down by your side. Maybe turning the palms up so the hands can just relax. Fingertips are curled. And the feet, they're just dropped out. Closing your eyes. Let's focus on our breath. We're going to count to 10. Every inhalation is one. Every exhale is two. Let's go till 10. When you've got to 10, start with a scan of the body from the top of the head all the way down to the toes. What we're scanning for is any tension that we're holding that we're unaware of. If we find it, we'll take a breath in and on the exhale, We'll release it. Some common places where we're not even aware we're holding tension is the face, hands, glutes, thighs. and feet. And when you're ready, just start to wiggle the toes 
Move the fingers. Open the eyes if they were closed. And then reach the arms over the head. Stretch the legs out. Fingertips to toes. Roll on to one side of the body. Rest here for a moment. And using your arms, press yourself up to a seated position. Legs crossed. Hands resting on the inside of the knees. Spine is stacked. Chest is lifted. Smiles are on. Thank you for joining me. Please, if you have the energy, <laughs> leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. And namaste. We will see you next session. Bye.